Hi, I'm Charlotte Wilton and I'm the Acting Head of Midwifery and Head of Nursing for Women's and Children's Services here at Dereford Hospital. The visiting will differ slightly for maternity services, neonatal services and acute paediatric services to other areas of the hospital and I'm just going to outline how those changes will happen from the 12th of April. So I'm really pleased to be able to say that a pregnant person will be able to have a support partner um, for all antenatal appointments in the community with your community midwife for all appointments in our antenatal clinic on level six, for all scans, not just the 12 and 20 week scans. If you need to be induced, your partner will be able to attend with you at that point as well. And for any attendance at triage, or if you are admitted to the labour ward or come in for an elective caesarean section, a partner will be able to stay at all times, as is the case now. On Argyll ward, which is our mixed antenatal and postnatal ward and on transitional care ward, a support partner will be able to have a two hour time slot to be able to come and visit. But unfortunately, we cannot open that up further at this moment in time because we do need to be able to ensure that we can continue to socially distance. What we do ask is that you arrive just before your allocated time slot for any antenatal appointment, either in the community or on our level six outpatients department to ensure that we haven't got too many people waiting together and that you can still socially distance, whether that be waiting in the car or in one of our new designated areas. If you're attending as a support partner to the maternity unit, we would ask that you wear a mask and ensure that you sanitize your hands on arrival and at regular intervals during your stay here. If you are unwell and you feel that you're either symptomatic of COVID-19 or just generally feel unwell, we do ask that you stay away. Visiting for our neonatal unit and for our acute paediatric unit will remain the same at this present time with one parent or guardian being able to stay at all times and the option of another parent or guardian being able to attend um, following discussion with the senior sister in charge or one of the consultants. What we do ask is in the outpatient department in our level 12 paediatric area and in our um, children's assessment unit that only one parent attends um, unless agreed prior to the appointment with the consultant that you'll be seeing. Across the maternity service, neonatal service and a paediatric service we do ask that you do not bring any other children or siblings with you at this time please. And we'd just like to thank you whatever service you're accessing whether that be the maternity service, the neonatal service or the acute paediatric service we appreciate that these restrictions over the last year have been really tough for everyone and we're really hoping that over the coming weeks we will be able to relax things further and we will keep you updated of any changes. Thank you.